welcome to little sla youtube channel i hope you would have watched my previous video on populations on how to create and how to configure the basic setup for a population in neoload if you have not watched it please subscribe to my channel and find the link in the description box once again i welcome you all to little sla youtube channel and this is your vasan shanmuga in this video we are going to cover two areas the first is how to configure a complex real time population using the requirements collected it's it's basically an example a demo kind of scenario which helps you to understand while you work on a real time requirement and the second thing is the mistakes that performance testers do while working on configuring the population part let's now move to the first part where we see how to configure the real time population using the requirement here we have the requirement we have the distribution in percentage we have various requirements of users we have admin users of 5% we have windows users with 10% we have imac users with 10% and we have users who are using ipad of 5% and we have iphone users of 30% and android users of 40% so in this example we are going to see that your company is launching a new product and every user all around the world is going to see the launch online and we are going to test or we are going to emulate the response time of that scenario let's now start configuring the population first let's add the admin user for 5% let's click on the plus symbol let me add that been users of 5% and let's keep the browser as a recorded one since it is going to be tested inside the client network and the van emulation is unlimited and the handle cache is as recorded let's now move to the second user the windows users who are around 10% and these users are going to be the end users or the customers so let's change the browser if in case required let's see for example we can take the latest version of the chrome and then we can select the van emulation we can have it as a wireless or a wifi users and then since they are going to be new users let's select them as new users since they are going to be totally new to the application so we are selecting them as new users and then let's add the imac users they will be around 10% and since they are imac users let's select a different browser we will select the opera user with the latest version and again the same hand emulation let's move to the wireless the other one 
and now we have iPad users of 5% And let's select the browser to be iPad and let's go with iPad Air and the WAN emulation is going to be a WiMAX since they connect in home so let's choose WiMAX and they are going to be new users let's change this new users let's save this new users okay let's now move to the fifth one that is iphone users and we have the nine android users Let's now select the iPhone users. Around 30%. Let's say for example, we are selecting iPhone 10 as an average. In fact, we can even distribute this into more segregations like iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 plus till iPhone 11. But now for an average, for an example, I'm taking iPhone 10 as an average. And then they're going to be new users. And let's say, for example, they're going to use 4G technology. And then let's move the final set of scripts or users, I would say. Let's select they're going to be Android users. And I'm selecting Samsung Galaxy S10, which was the latest version of Samsung Galaxy as per the tool Neuro tool. And they're going to be the same 4G emulation and going to be a new user. Let's once finally check all the distributions. So iMac, let's change it to 30. And this is going to be 40. And this is going to be iPhone mobile. Then here we have iPad users. Then here we have iMac OS. We have Windows operating system as well. And every external user is going to be a new user. Yeah, so that's how we are setting up the distribution for real time environment using the requirement. We have selected various browsers, we have selected various. Let me change. We have selected various browser type, we have selected various cache type, we have selected various WAN emulation. You can see here different WAN emulations for each and every virtual user, virtual user type and then the download speed automatically differs based on the WAN emulation. So that's how we select this distribution and you can see here the total comes around 100 percentage. And let's now see the common mistakes which the user does while setting up this population. So say for example, when I'm adding another user and it comes as, you can see uh, two Windows operating system here, which has been set up automatically. So 
the first mistake you have to check is whether the user path has been duplicated multiple times irrespective of your requirement for example you have two times the windows operating system and in case if you are distributing the operating system you have added the percentage you have to make sure whether it has been correct so you have to make sure you check whether you have the correct set of user path here and again the percentage make sure you check you have allocated percentage for each and every virtual users say for example you can see zero percentage here and if for example you are using this so you, during your test you don't see any users doing that execution so these are some of the common mistakes that any performance testers do at the last minute of execution so we have to be very careful first thing is we have to be very careful that we don't make any duplications in the user path and we make sure we have the percentages filled for all the users and make sure it is filled at 100 per 100 percentage that's all for this video thanks everyone for watching we will meet with another interesting topic in our upcoming videos thank you so much